creations and today it's everything on a budget. I thought I'd bring you a series of videos of Dollar Tree and 99 cent store hacks. Some of these hacks I have used for years that are real money saving hacks and some are ones that I have just recently found out about that I thought I'd bring to you. Today's Dollar Tree hack is one that I just recently learned about from my stepmom Kathleen that I absolutely love. For the longest time, I've been using Costco's brand Kirkland, this liquid dish soap. It comes in a 135 ounce bottle and it lasts me for about three or four months. On Easter, I was at my dad's house for a family celebration. I was helping my stepmom clean up the kitchen after we had eaten and she used the Dawn foaming dish soap. I was using it when I was doing the dishes and I instantly fell in love with it. I was a little surprised when I went to Walmart to pick it up and I saw that this little bottle was $3. This bottle will last me a week. I tend to hand wash dishes more than I use my dishwasher. I do use my dishwasher, but everybody in my family has gotten in the habit of when you use a dish, you clean the dish instead of just sticking it in the dishwasher. And that's a method that I'm happy with because it saves me from constantly loading and unloading the dishwasher. I saw that and I was like, well, heck, if I buy this, I'm going to be spending $12 a month in dish soap versus the $7.99 I spend for the Kirkland bottle that's 135 ounces that lasts me three or four months. So now I'm probably quadrupling the cost that I am spending on dish soap. And I was kind of bummed because I really, really, really liked the Dawn foaming dish soap. So I got to thinking when I was at the Dollar Tree, when I saw this eight ounce bottle of Dawn's dish soap, I thought, okay, self, there has to be a way to make a DIY Dawn foaming dish soap from this. Brought it home and concocted a couple recipes. And you know what? It was so simple and easy and it came out exactly the same as the original foaming dish soap. So I thought I'd show you how I did this because this eight ounce bottle was a dollar at the Dollar Tree. That is way less expensive than using the Kirkland soap and I like this one way better. So let's get to it and let me show you this DIY Dollar Tree Dawn Foaming Dish Soap Pack. You're gonna love this. This is the original bottle of the Dawn Foaming Dish Soap. I took, I peeled the labels off of it and I took my Rust-Oleum's Oil Rubbed Bronze Spray Paint and I sprayed the whole pump. So that way this isn't an eyesore and I don't mind it being on my kitchen counter. I came up with a Dollar Tree alternative pump. If you don't wanna purchase the original bottle, I picked up one of Dollar Tree's foaming hand soaps. This is the Luscious Pear. I happen to use this anyway. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna empty out my hand soap because I'm gonna use it in another dispenser for my bathroom anyway. My bottle is completely rinsed out so it doesn't smell like pear anymore. I'm gonna take my Dawn dish soap and I'm gonna fill it just about a half an inch with the soap. I'm gonna take my water. I'm gonna take the pump. I'm gonna slightly mix this, not vigorously shaking it. And here we go. You've got foaming dish soap. Isn't that an awesome hack? And this soap, I promise you, you are gonna love it. This soap goes so stinking far, it amazes me. I absolutely love it. And I've switched over from the Kirkland soap to this Dawn Foaming dish soap. And if you wanna dress your pump up just a bit, you can spray paint it with the Rust-Oleum's Oil Rubbed Bronze or whatever spray paint it is that you like. I've noticed when I've used the Rust-Oleum's Oil Rubbed Bronze on my pumps, I haven't had to touch them up very often, if not at all. And there you have it everybody, DIY Dawn Foaming Dish Soap. If you don't initially want to put out the cost for this $3 bottle, you can go to the Dollar Tree, pick up their foaming hand soap bottle, and make it in this, and it works just as well. Well everybody, that's all I have for you for today for this Dollar Tree hack of mine. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and if you're new to my channel, stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, 
YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. You can also follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Google+. Those links are in the description box below. Just click on those links, click follow, and you'll also be notified through social media when I'm uploading a new video or just doing something fun. You can also find my P.O. box in the description box below as well if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy everything on a budget and bye for now.